The month-long political crisis in Maharashtra might end tomorrow as both the factions BJP with Ajit Pawar and his MLAs and Shiv Sena NCP Congress combined will have to prove their strengths at the floor test to be held by 5 p.m. on November 27. In a surprise move, BJP's Devendra Fadnavis was sworn as the chief minister for the second term on Saturday morning. Ajit Pawar of NCP joined him as the deputy chief minister. This happened in the process when Shiv Sena, Congress, and NCP were about to take the final call to form a coalition government. The three parties alleged that Governor Koshiari had administered the oath to swear in Devendra Fadnavis as the chief minister while BJP did not have the required majority. They filed an urgent petition in the Supreme Court to quash Governor's decision and also demanded that an immediate floor test is ordered in the State Assembly. Accepting the plea for immediate hearing on Sunday, the Supreme Court asked if a floor test can be arranged in the Maharashtra Assembly within 24 hours. SC on Tuesday ordered the floor test in the State Assembly to be completed by 5 p.m. Wednesday. Apex Court also ordered the appointment of a pro tem speaker who will administer oath to the newly elected members. A floor test can be explained as a motion initiated by the government in position seeking to know if it enjoys the confidence of the legislature. As part of this procedure, the chief minister appointed by the governor will be asked to prove majority on the Legislative Assembly's floor. When a floor test is called for in the Assembly of a state, the chief minister will move a vote of confidence and prove that he has the majority support. If the floor test fails, the chief minister will have to resign. The whole idea of a floor test is incorporated in the Constitution of India to ensure transparency in the constitutional process. Pro tem speaker is person on the chair of the speaker on state legislative assemblies, temporarily holding the post.